Hi Aquarius, this is a peek at your partner for the week of July the 17th through July the 23rd, 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Aquarius for July the 17th through July the 23rd, 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Aquarius for July the 17th through July the 23rd, 2022. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Aquarius for July the 17th through July the 23rd, 2022. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Aquarius. Aquarius, this is a peek at your partner. So, Aquarius, your partner has the Six of Swords. Your partner has the Ace of Swords. Your partner has the Five of Freaking Swords, 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 Swords. Your partner has the Queen of Cups. And your partner has the Three of Wands. So, Aquarius. Your partner has a six of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, your partner is wanting to move away. Now this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you, agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is your partner saying they just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So Aquarius, listen, your partner could be physically moving or traveling here. Your partner can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or your partner saying they just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Clarify the Six of Swords for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the Six of Swords for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the Six of Swords for Aquarius' partner. It is clarified with the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance, but this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So Aquarius, listen, your partner could tell me that something is off balance here. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. Your partner may be giving something here, receiving something here, or your partner is saying that someone is giving more somewhere else, giving to two. So listen, Aquarius, this could be an invite to travel. You know, your partner could tell me that, hey, I want us to put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together because they're giving you something or they're receiving something from you. However, your partner could tell me they want to move out, move on and move away from the relationship because something was off balance or someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. Aquarius, your partner has the Ace of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory, but this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So Aquarius, listen, your partner could tell me that you guys are having this communication. Your partner could tell me that some truth and clarity is out here. Your partner could tell me that they're making a decision or using a sword to sever. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Aquarius' partner. It is clarified with the Seven of Wands. Aries, Leora, Sag. This is your partner being defensive. They're on the defense. 
But this can also speak to your partner being put in a position where they're having to defend themselves against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. And this can be your partner shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So your partner could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and they're giving their defense or excuse here. So Aquarius, listen, your partner could be standoff and shunning and setting boundaries, yes. However, your partner could be being accused and they're trying to come in and explain and give their explanation or excuse or defense here. I feel like it's a conversation being had. Either your partner's trying to explain or they're kind of standoff and shunning here, okay? Aquarius, your partner has the five of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war, one up in one another, snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs, a bunch of mind games and manipulation. So Aquarius, listen. Your partner could tell me that you guys had this tip for tat tug of war, toe-to-toe -to -toe going on here. Your partner could tell me it's some form of mind games and manipulation. However, they could be pissed and they may have an axe to grind here. Clarify the five of swords for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the five of swords for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the five of swords for Aquarius's partner. It is clarified with the page of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produced because there is a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. So Aquarius, listen, your partner could be sending out love messages and an apology. They could be receiving love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the page of cups for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the page of cups for Aquarius's partner. It is clarified with the three of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be that is causing your partner heartbreak. So listen, Aquarius, your partner's telling me that they're hurt. That their feelings are hurt here. You know, it very well could be that you're trying to come in to apologize over some type of hurt feelings with a conversation that is being had. This tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on here. However, listen, you could be coming in to apologize here and your partner could still be feeling spiteful and vengeful, kind of standoffish and not wanting to even conversate or accept your apology. But your partner could also tell me that they're hurt because there was a third party that you were giving more somewhere else, giving to two because we found love messages and heard the news of you sharing love. Some type of truth is out here. And this is why they're kind of standoffish and feeling some type of way. Aquarius, <clears throat> your partner has the queen of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic and she searches her emotions. So Aquarius could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their charts. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups, using their intuition concerning something, or searching their emotions concerning something. Also with the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Aquarius's partner. The Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into your partner or your partner rushing in, demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking their truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So Aquarius, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight, someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Aquarius's partner. 
Clarify the Knight of Swords for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Aquarius' partner. It is clarified with the Three of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up. Making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved. But this can also speak to your partner being willing to work on it or put in the work. So listen, Aquarius, this can all be work, business, or some type of agreement here. You know, your partner could tell me that maybe they're willing to work on this, put in the work, or there was a third party. So I feel like your partner is using their intuition and searching their emotions concerning maybe some type of agreement here with something being shortchanged here. And we're having this conversation, this confrontation, this heated conversation. However, your partner could tell me that this heated conversation is taking place because someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two with a third party. Aquarius, your partner has... The three of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is your partner waiting, waiting for their ships to come in, waiting for what they set their intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of your partner looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So Aquarius, listen, your partner can tell me that they're waiting. Your partner can tell me that they're expecting something. Your partner can tell me that their ships are here. Your partner can tell me that they're looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So Aquarius, is it over the coins? That they were expecting their ships here? Is it that your partner is saying, you know what? I'm just going to look to see what else is out there. I just want to leave. I want to travel. I want to leave. I'm using this sword to sever. And I'm standoffish and shunning here. Because there's some type of heartbreak here. Maybe over a third party being here. And they're wanting to leave. Clarify the three of wands for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the three of wands for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the three of wands for Aquarius' partner. It is clarified with the four of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging their crystals. So Aquarius, listen, your partner could tell me that you guys are on a break. Your partner could tell me that they're trying to heal, trying to recover, or they're meditating on something here. Now, your partner could tell me that you guys are on a break because... They were expecting something here, maybe being shortchanged, and this conversation is happening over some type of agreement that didn't happen, like plan. Your partner could tell me that, you know, they're trying to recover, so they just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Just leave here. Just get gone here. Your partner could also tell me that I'm, they're meditating on looking to see what else is out there. They're adamant about using this sword to sever. They mean it. And why is that? Is it because it was a third party that they feel like you were giving more somewhere else, giving to two? That they found love messages and heard the news of you sharing love? And so they're out of here? Aquarius, this is a peek at your partner for the week of July the 17th through July the 23rd, 2022. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.